Tonight I came to activate. En vanavond ben ik gekomen om het te activeren. So the spirit of the Lord showed me last night. De geest des Heeren zei me gisteravond. To inform you. Om u te informeren. That this is not a dissertation on prayer. Dat dit geen uitleg of een uh, uitleg is over gebed. He said I send you to activate. Ik heb je gestuurd om te activeren. Not dissertate. Niet om te praten you, erover. Dissertation is giving you a lecture, in other words. Simple. Dat is om je eigenlijk les te geven erover. Look at your neighbor and said, Dr. Wayne ain't gonna give you no lecture tonight. It's not a dissertation. Hey, gaat je it's geen... activation. It's Shake them and say, it's activation. Shake them and say, this is about activation tonight. Kijk naar iemand en zeg, dit gaat om te activeren. Ik ben gekomen om je te activeren. So let's go. So this is a prayer conference. So this is a gebedsconferentie. And again, I thank my friend, Dr. Stephen Ramey. And I thank my friend, Dr. Stephen Ramey. This, the focus is on prayer. The focus is on gebed. And we're going tonight, as a point of reference, Luke 18 and verse 1. We'll begin with Luke 18, verse 1. Jesus told his disciples this. Now, everybody, I want you to focus now. I want you to concentrate now. Whatever you give your attention to, you receive from. So don't talk to anybody now unless I give you that instruction. I want you to focus on me now. Focus here. Remember, this is about what? No, no, it's about what? Activation. What's it about? Activation. It's not a dissertation. It's activation. It is activating. Whatever you give your attention to, remember that you receive from. Looking on to Jesus, the author and the finisher of your faith. If you look at the look to the devil and you focus on the devil, you're gonna get what the devil has for you. As you focus on the devil, then you're gonna get what the devil has for you. Okay, that's not my slide. I don't know what that one is up there. <laughs> then Jesus, we have something else up here, guys. Then Jesus told his disciples a parable. Thank you. He did what? He gave his disciples a parable. Jesus did what? What did Jesus? Jesus did what? What did Jesus? Come on, I want you to talk to me now. Jesus did what? What did Jesus? He told his disciples. He told who? He gave his disciples. He wasn't speaking to the scribes and the Pharisees. He spoke to the Pharisees and the Sadducees. Whenever Jesus spoke to his disciples, he spoke differently than when he spoke to the scribes and the religious leaders. Jesus spoke anders tot zijn discipelen dan andere met andere religieuze leiders. He told them a parable. A parable is a comparison. A gelijkenis is eigenlijk een vergelijking. And the reason why he told them this parable was to show them that they should always pray. They should what? The reason for this gelijkenis was om ze te laten zien. Point your finger at your neighbor and say, "You must always pray." What there? Come on. Raise your finger naar uw buurman en zeg, "U moet altijd bidden." Tell somebody else behind you, you with your good-looking self, you must always pray. Je moet altijd Come on, tell somebody else now, a little more fast and say, "You must always pray." Kijk naar iemand en zeg, "Je moet altijd bidden." And not to give up. And niet verslappen of opgeven. So it stands to reason if you don't pray, you will give up. Dus we kunnen ervan uitgaan als je niet bidt, zal je opgeven. That's why Apostle Stephen put this conference together. Daarom heeft Apostle Stephen deze conferentie georganiseerd. He'll tell you my life since he knows me. Hij kent me. And I learned this from my mentor, Dr. Morris Cerullo. I traveled the world with him. And I kept this gelir from my mentor, Dr. Morris Cerullo, where me feel. And I saw the secret to his power. En ik zag het geheimenis van zijn kracht. And it was prayer. En het was gebed. That's an intelligent response. Thank you, darling. Dat is een intelligente reactie. Now here is Jesus talking to his disciples. Hier praat Jezus tot zijn discipelen. He said, "I'm going to give you a parable." Ik ga je een gelijkenis geven. I'm going to give you a comparison so you will understand. Ik ga je vergelijking geven zodat je begrijpt. The importance of praying. Het belang van gebed. He said, "You must always pray. You must what?" Dat ze altijd moesten bidden. Not in Suriname, but in Trinidad. Niet in Suriname, maar in Trinidad. You have a lot of Christians who always complaining. Er zijn veel Christenen die altijd klagen. 
They always complaining. Ze klagen altijd. They always criticizing. Ze bekritiseren altijd. Why are they doing that? Waarom doen ze dat? Because they don't pray. Omdat ze niet bidden. And they're giving up. En ze geven op. But I come to activate your prayer life tonight. Maar ik ben gekomen om uw gebed te activeren vanavond. I come to activate your prayer life. You will always pray. I said you will always pray. Somebody shout, I will always pray. Iemand schreeuw, ik zal altijd bidden. Yes. So look at your name and say, don't you expect me to give up, darling. Don't you dus expect me to give up. Dus kijk naar uw buur en zeg, verwacht niet dat ik zal opgeven. Do you know you have some enemies looking and they're waiting? They're waiting for you to give up. We do not do what friends they need to walk to the Sorry for them. They might end up in the hospital when they think you are down and out. You will begin to rap rock Santa Raba Shente Yarama. My God shall supply all my needs. I know in whom I believe in. I know you guys will make a way for me. The Heer is all for me, Bana. Intelligent response. Intelligent reaction. So we marry in that with James 5, 16. Dus we brengen het samen met Jacobus 5, vers 16. Your Excellency, it's good to see you all. You look better looking than the last time I saw you. The wife the probably care. taking very good care of you. Yeah, she's taking very good care of you, yeah? I can see that. You have to pay her big money. <laughs> James 5, 16 says, everybody, pray. Jacobus Declare 5, what? 16 says. What does it say? What does it say? What, 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 the what? What, what did James 5, 16 says? What? What says Jacobus 5, verse 16? What, 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 what? The what? The two first two words says what? Het gebed. The what, what, what? Het gebed. What did Jesus tell your disciples? They must what? What did Jesus and the disciples what? Geleerd, ze moeten. Always pray. Say always, always, say, always, altijd, always, altijd, always. Altijd, altijd. Why? Why Waarom? you must always pray? Because the prayer. Het gebed. Of a righteous man. Van een rechtvaardige. Now if you weren't here last night, I got to clean you up tonight. Als je hier... But those of us who were here last night, we're clean, aren't we? Yeah. Let me hear the people who were here zijn... last night. Let me hear you. We cleaned up. We zijn rein, toch? Right. We zijn verschoond, toch? So we're good to go for from now until Jesus comes. Yes. Yeah. We got rid of all the people that we were carrying around and all the all that stuff. We have all the people that we were carrying around and all the all that stuff. We have all the people that we were carrying around and all and James came and said, the prayer, look at, now, now there's two words, two sides of the same coin. Pray and okay. prayer. And bidden. Let, me, let me give you a simple definition. I'm going to give you the, 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 the highfalutin biblical definition of that in a moment. But the simple definition of pray is what you do. Bidden is what you do. Simple definition. The little children would understand that. Simple definition. What is to pray, um, to bidden. pray is what? Bidden is what you do. I want you to get it now. I'm, I'm teaching you. I want you to learn. So I want you to talk back to me so I know where you are. Look at your neighbor and say, pray bidden. is what you do. That is what you do. Tell somebody else. Kijk naar iemand anders. Jesus told his disciples, this is what you must do. Jesus zegt aan you must disciples, always do this. Dit moet je altijd doen. Comprende? How do, you, how do you say that in your language? That is Spanish. How do you say that in there? Yes. Huh? You pestang. Okay, you'll teach me that tomorrow. <laughs> Gotta get the tongue after all these years. Pray bidden is what you do. Is what, what is you pray? Do. What is bidden? Tell the neighbor, pray is what you do. Bidden is what you do. Prayer, now James says, the prayer. Jacobus prayer zegt, is what you say. Jacobus zegt het gebed. What is prayer? What is gebed? What you say. It's what you say. Very, that's the simplest definition. I'll give it a sophisticated one in a moment, but I'm looking at my time. You got that? Begrijpt u dat? Because I'm taking on a journey to activate your prayer life and you requires understanding. Om uw gebed te activeren, moet u begrijpen. We saw last night, I don't have time to go back there. Psalms. 14.2. The Lord is looking down from heaven to. He's looking for somebody who understands prayer. He kijkt uit naar iemand die gebed begrijpt. What is pray? Pray what, is what? What is bidden? P R A Y is what? Bidden is what you. What is pray? What is bidden? Okay, your neighbor don't know, so tell them. Say, darling, pray is what you do. Bidden is what you do. You pray. You do it. 
Je doet het. And what is prayer? P R A Y E. Prayer is what? Gebed. Prayer is what? Good. What is so zegt. Jesus said you must always do this. Jesus said you must always do this. James. Oh, sorry. James said this is what you say. Jacobus said this is what you say. What you say? The prayer of a righteous man. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige. That that word righteous man means in right standing with God. Is recht staan met God. So if you got stuff inside of you, you know you ain't right. Als u dingen heeft, dan weet u het is niet helemaal goed. He said the 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 prayer of a righteous person, male or female, now, is powerful. Is what? Hij zegt het gebed van een rechtvaardige is krachtig. Tell what, what, what you do when you say what you do is powerful. Wat u zegt wat u doet dat is krachtig. Come on, talk to me. Talk to your neighbor. Say neighbor. Zeg buur. What you do when you say what you do what is you powerful. Doet, wat u zegt is krachtig. Not only is powerful. It's effective. Er wordt kracht eraan verbonden. So if you are not in right standing with God, your prayers, what you are saying, is ineffective. Dus als u niet recht staat met God, hetgeen u bidt, is Comprende? heeft Comprende? geen effect. Je verstaan. You verstaan. You grab him. Oh, okay. I know you got it. <laughs> you got it? You alone are my... Look at your name and say, Apostle Wayne told you just now, you are more powerful than you believe. You don't know you believe how powerful you are. There's something great in you. I come to activate you. I tell you, you, when you walk out of here tonight, all the devils in Paramaribo going over to Venezuela. Als u weggaat van hier, al die duivels in Paramaribo. We're not sending them to Guyana, we're sending them to Venezuela. <laughs> Intelligent response. Come on, give me an <laughs> intelligent reaction. You are great. Woo. Lord, I feel this thing. Are you all learning already? Learn to eat. Can you feel the power coming on? Look at your neighbor and say, you are going to be so powerful when you walk out of here tonight. You are so powerful when you walk out of here tonight. Activate me, activate me, activate me. I feel it. I feel it. Everybody do this. My God. You must do so. Look at your neighbor and say, power. Kijk naar uw buurman en zeg, krachtig, kijk die. <laughs> Come on, my brother, do it. Come on, do it. Step powerful. Come on, do it, do it. Ta krak die. Look at the name and say, you ain't know how powerful I am. Kijk naar je man en zeg, je weet niet hoe sterk ik ben. But don't mess with me tonight. You're gonna find out. Zoek me niet met ruzie, want you're your lady. Because when I speak to Adonai, when I speak to the Lord, power is gonna take. Intelligent response. Intelligent response. Not only are you powerful, you are effective. Niet alleen ben je sterk, maar je bent effectief. Look at your name and say, I am powerful and I'm effective. Ik ben sterk en ik ben effectief. So the point of reference for our ministry, Psalms 107 verse 20. He sent his word. Hij zond zijn woord. If he sent it, then somebody got to bring it. And I'm the bring it boy. Als hij het gestuurd heeft, dan moet iemand het brengen. Ik That's ben why they boos. call me an apostle. Ze hebben me een apostel genoemd. A sent one. Een so he sent, is. he sent his word. Zij zond zijn woord. And healed them. En genas hen. Look at your name and say, those ladies got healed last night. If you need healing, you can get it tonight. Zij hebben genezen gekregen. Als je het nodig hebt, zal je het ook ontvangen. And if you don't need healing, I promise you, you need to be delivered from something. Als je geen genezing nodig hebt, geloof me, je you moet bevrijd be worden van iets. You need to be delivered from prayerlessness. Misschien moet u bevrijd worden van gebedsloosheid. Because you didn't understand the power of prayer. Want u begreep de kracht niet van gebed. So God sent you this word. Dus God heeft u dit woord gestuurd. To heal you. Om u te genezen. Or deliver you. Of u te bevrijden. So he told the disciples in John 8:31 and 32. Dus hij zei aan zijn discipelen in Johannes 8:31. If you continue in my word. Als je in mijn woord blijft. Tell your neighbor, you got to continue in this word. Zeg aan iemand naast je, je moet blijven in het woord. You got to always pray. Tell him you got to always pray. You got to continue this word. Because your Prayer is powerful and effective. Want je gebed is krachtig en effectief. So that's why he sent you this word. Dus daarom stuurt hij u dit woord. And so I coined this phrase: The Lord wants you free in 23. De Heer wilt u vrij in 2023. Look at somebody and tell him you're gonna be free tonight. U zal vanavond vrij zijn. To pray like you never prayed before. Om te bidden zoals je nooit When you understand how much power you got in your mouth. I said when you understand how much power you got in your mouth. How effective you will be, and we could change to the name. We zullen Suriname veranderen. Give me an intelligent response. 
Ghost. So here's what Father God says. Is this is what the Heer God says. Second Chronicles 7:14, familiar verse of Scripture. Two Chronicles 7, verse 14. Father God says, "If Father. my people now, corporately, if what?" Father God says, "As main souls." So we have the individual. James said, "Jesus speaking to the twelve." James speaking to you as an individual. Jacob spreekt tot jou als een individu. But Adonai. Maar de Heer said to Solomon, "If my people." Zeg aan Salomo, "As mijn volk." How many of us are God's people? Let me see. Who feel from you in God's folk? Let me your hands. All right, we have some that we have to get saved and delivered tonight. That's why you're here. We'll convert you. We'll convert you. You will become one of God's people. You shall start to become. I just one more show of hands. How many of God's people? Who feel from you in God's folk? Born of fight, born again, saved. All right. Correct. Give yourself. Give your neighbor a clap for being one of God's people. So, this is referring to you and I. This goes over you and I. He said, "If my people, said, As main folk, which are called by my name, die naar mijn naam geroepen is, not by a denominational name, niet genoemd naar een denominatie. People call themselves different labels based on their religion. Mensen geven zichzelf verschillende I'm labels. I'm a Paul. I'm a Apollos. I'm a Catholic. I'm a Baptist. Catholic, I'm a this. No, 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 no. This and that. He ain't talking to you. He's talking about my people. Hij praat over zijn volk." Intelligent response. An intelligent reaction. Look at your neighbor and, and tell them, don't put any label on you. Just be one of God's people. Set your ankle label up yourself. We said, God's if, 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 if my people, which are called by my name, as main folk, die naar mijn naam geroepen is, in the book of Acts, because they went out and they were doing what Jesus said, they were praying. In handelingen gingen ze naar buiten en ze deden wat Jezus deed. Signs and wonders was accompanied their prayer. Gebed met wonderen en tekenen. The people in Antioch called them by the name of Christ. Noemden de mensen in Antioch Jezus naar Christus. They said, "You Christus. remind, you all remind me of Christ. You are Christians." Dat jullie slijken op Christus, dus jullie zijn Christenen. He said, "If you call by my name, als je naar mijn naam geroepen bent." That was me, this stuck. If you will humble yourself, you what? Ask yourself for out mudder and do what and do what and pray. Bidden, do it. Do it. Remember, pray is what you do. Tell your neighbor. Remember that. Bidden is what you do. It takes a certain ingredient of humility to pray. You have the ingredient of nederigheid nodig om te bidden. It's easier to make excuses. It is gemakkelijk om excuses te hebben. And call up. The the psychic hotline and everybody else to pray for you. And all the warsakers to bella om to ask for your bidden. But Adonai did not say that. But Adonai he did not say. He said, if you are called by my name, he said, as you are my name called upon, humble yourself, yourself further, and do it. And he also do. Do what? What do? Pray. Bidden. And then he said, now. You go to the next level and seek my face. And then he said, "Turn from your wicked ways." And he said, "Bekeer van uw boze wegen." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." And then he said, "Then you will find rest." So the word pray is a verb. Dus het woord bidden is een werkwoord. Je doet het. It means to address a prayer. Het betekent je zendt een gebed to God. Je zendt een gebed naar God toe. Or to wish of its wensen. Or to hope strongly for a particular outcome. Of om vurig te hopen voor een bepaalde resultaat. Pray. Bidden. Or situation. A situation. Of a situation. Pray can be used also as an adverb to induce polite requests or instructions. It can also mean that you a belief for seek in deed or you ask for instruction. It is often used as a functional word in introducing a question. 
Het is, je introduceert een vraag. Pray. Gebed. A request or a plea. Een verzoek of een pleidooi. So when you make your request known to God, you are praying. Dus als je verzoek bekend maakt aan God, dan bid je. Now prayer on the other hand, what you say. Dus gebed aan de andere kant, dus wat je zegt. Is an invocation. Je benadert. Or dus vraag naar. An act that seeks to activate a rapport or conversation with God. Een handeling om in, in een lijn te komen met God of je zoekt naar een reactie van God. Pray is what you. Bidden is wat je doet. Prayer is what you. Gebed rapport. is wat je zegt in een conversation. Komen. Conversatie. And this is done through deliberate communication. And it is on bewuste communicatie. Prayer can also have the purpose of thanksgiving or praise. Het kan ook zijn dankzegging of love praise. Entreating or seeking God. God zoeken. But it must be heartfelt. Maar je moet het doen vanuit je it hart. It must be earnest communication with God. Het moet een ernstige communicatie zijn met God. In other words, we say in Trinidad, you cannot mama guy God. Je kan God niet voor de gek houden, denk mama ik. Guy. You don't, I don't know what you say here. <laughs> Trick, fool, you know. Mama ja, je kan guy. God niet voor de gek houden. Yeah, it's ja. a patois word. Uh, old friend, mama guy. <laughs> so, I, I, I come and I say, Giliami, you're looking real good, but he has a hole in his shirt. His shirt out of his pants is crumpled up. He really look, but I'm mama guy. You're looking real good, brother. And I walk away. Yeah, yeah, hold before the gek dus. Mama guy, yeah? So, so some people try to mama guy God. Sommige mensen proberen God voor de gek te houden. work. It must be heartfelt. Je moet het, het moet ernstig zijn. I said it must be heartfelt. Je moet het doen vanuit je hart. So the Bible says in Genesis 4:23, as early as Genesis 4:23. Dus zelfs in Genesis 4 vers 23. The Bible says Seth also had a son. Seth had ook een zoon. His name was Enoch. Zijn naam was Enos. Remember, we're going after the prayer of a righteous man. We willen weten wat is het gebed van een rechtvaardige. Old Testament, New Testament. Nieuwe Jesus Testament. said you must always do it. Jezus zegt doe het altijd. But we have a point of reference in the Old Testament. We hebben zelf referentie in het Oude Testament. The old is in the new reveal and the new is in the old conceal. Het oude is verborgen in het nieuwe en het the nieuwe The new is in the old reveal and the old is in the, the, the new is in the old conceal. Can you Yeah. The Old Testament Het Oude Testament is in the New Testament is in het Nieuwe Testament revealed. Geopenbaard. And the New Testament en het Nieuwe Testament is in the Old Testament Conceal. Is in het Oude Testament verborgen. So, conceal in the Old Testament, way back in Genesis 4, beginning. Dus helemaal bedekt in het Oude Testament. Seth, Abraham's son had a son, his name was Enoch. Seth had een zoon, zijn naam was Enos. And the Bible said, at that time, en vanaf die dagen, men began to call on the name of the Lord. Begon de mens de naam des Heren aan te roepen. So it was not referred to as prayer, it was calling on the name of the Lord. Dus we kenden het niet als gebed toen, maar het was roepen tot de naam des Heeren. And the Bible says in Genesis 18. De Bijbel zegt in Genesis 18. The prayer of a righteous man. Gebed van een rechtvaardige. powerful and effective. Is krachtig en effectief. Father God was going to judge and destroy a nation. Vader God zou een natie veroordelen en vernietigen. To take you tomorrow, we're going to do the exercise tomorrow. We gaan de oefening doen morgen of de handeling. I'm building you up to the crescendo. Ik, ik bouw je op naar het climax. Father God was going to destroy a nation. Vader God zou een natie vernietigen. And he came down to visit his friend Abraham. En hij kwam om zijn vriend Abraham te bezoeken. And Abraham entreated him, the angels. He entertained them. En Abraham hield zich dus bezig met die engelen. And the angel said, the Lord said, can I hide what I'm going to do from my servant Abraham? En God zei, friend. Kan ik zal ik uh, verborgen houden wat ik ga doen voor mijn vriend Abraham? And so the Bible says. Dus de Bijbel zegt. In Genesis 18:23, I'm just extracting a few verses. In Genesis 18:23. Abraham, when the Lord told him what he was going to do with Sodom and Gomorrah, Toen God aan Abraham vertelde wat hij zou Abraham doen met Sodom said, en Gomorrah, Will you sweep away the righteous with the wicked? Zegt Abraham, zal u vernietigen de rechtvaardigen met de onrechtvaardigen? 
What if there are 50 righteous people in Suriname? What else are 50 rechtvaardige mensen zijn in Suriname? Will you destroy Suriname, Paramaribo, for 50 righteous? Zal u Suriname, Paramaribo dan vernietigen? Will you really sweep it away? Zal u het vernietigen? And not spare the place for 50 righteous? En de plaats niet behouden ten wille van die 50 rechtvaardigen? What was Abraham doing? What did Abraham Abraham in was praying. Abraham bat. You don't always have to kneel down. You don't always have to kneel and go in your closet and in your kamer to go. Abraham was praying communication with God. Abraham bat. He had communication with God. We're going there, making your request known. He was communicating. He said, "You can't do that, God." He said, "Heer, you can't do that." The effectual. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige is krachtig. Abraham was in right standing with God. Abraham was rechtvaardig. He had nothing inside of him that the enemy could put his hand on and point his finger at. Hij had niets in hem dat de vijand tegen hem zou kunnen gebruiken. And when God revealed what he was going to do to Suriname, dus toen God openbaarde wat hij zou doen met Suriname, Apostle Stephen said, "No, you can't do that." Zei Apostel Stephen, "Nee, dat kunt u niet doen." That's where we're going. Daar gaan we naartoe. This prayer conference is not about give me, give me, give me my daily bread. Deze gebedsconferentie gaat niet om geef me, geef me mijn dagelijks broer. We're going up to the high places and we're going to root out and pull down what the devil. We're going to root out and pull down what the devil. Intelligent response. Intelligent response. Intelligent response. Intelligent reaction. I didn't come to play games. We're not coming here to ask for a job. Money to pay your bills. No, 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 no. This is a higher level. I said, this level. is a higher level. Said, this We're going to talk to Father God. We're, We're going to stand God. before him and say, no, no, you We're can do this stand. or you can't do this. Nee, nee, oh, nee, somebody give God, God a prayer. Well Let me hear an intelligent response. Come on, let my intelligent reaction hear. You are great. You the miracle, so great. Will you sweep, really sweep away all? And not spare the place for 50 righteous Zal u iedereen vernietigen en de plaats niet sparen voor 50 Far be it from you to do such a thing. Doet u dat niet? Abraham had the audacity to tell God like that. Abraham had the lef om God zo aan te spreken. Last night, my friend, we were having a little fellowship in the back, and I, I did something that I didn't bounce up by him. He said, "You shouldn't do that." Ik deed iets en hij zei, "Je moet dat niet doen." I said, "I apologize." Ik zeg maar verontschuldiging hem. I should have shared it with you. Ik had het met je That's our relationship. Dat is onze relatie. That's how you have to get to the place where you can talk to Father God. Zo moet je kunnen praten tot Vader God. He said, if you had told me, I would have told you not to do this. Ik zeg, als je me had gezegd, dan had ik het gezegd dat je niet moest doen. It's an important decision. Dat is een besluit. By tomorrow night, morgenavond, you'll realize how powerful you are. Zal u weten hoe krachtig u bent. Still got some work to do. Wat wordt werk te doen? When you pray, wanneer u bidt, it will happen like these people overnight. Zal het net als wat met deze mensen is gebeurd, goed gebeuren. Daughter going to hospital, no surgery. Dochter naar het hospitaal, geen operatie. But I'm not about that level. We're going to change the destiny of Suriname. We we gaan hoger. We gaan de bestemming van Suriname veranderen. Got to get some of you higher on the ladder. We must go higher up. Because this is about nation. This is not about give me my daily bread. This is not about a nation. It's not about give me my daily bread. Abraham said to Father God, "You can't do that." Abraham said to Father God, "You can't do that." That's not your character. That is not your character. And then God said, "Okay." And God said, "Okay, if I get 50, I'm not going to destroy it." As there 50 saying, "I can't do it." And you know that you know you know the deal. And you can the deal. He said, "Far be it from you to do such a thing to kill the righteous with the wicked." He said, "That can't you not do that you the rechtvaardige met de onrechtvaardige." Treating the righteous and the wicked alike. Ze zelf de behandeling geven. Dat gaat u niet doen. Let me dissect that for a minute. Where we going? Where we're going to go? What you say, what you say, what you say to God. What you say to God. Now, concerning this nation, over this nation, it's going to be with the righteous 
and about the wicked. Het gaat om de rechtvaardige en de onrechtvaardige. I'm speaking in parables like Jesus. Ik praat in gelijkenissen Those als Jesus. Those of you who have understanding will understand what I'm talking about. Degene van u die het begrepen zullen weten. But we're at another level. We zijn op een andere level. This is not kindergarten. Dit is geen kle- uh, This is not dissertation. The prayer we're going to pray. Het gebed dat we zullen bidden. We're going to deal with the evil. We gaan dealen not the righteous. Met het, de boze. Apostle, I don't know if they're ready yet. Far be it from you. Het is verre van u. Will not the judge of all the earth do right? Zal niet de rechter van de hele aarde recht doen? Let's build it. In Genesis 24 now, watch this. Kijk, in Genesis 24. The Bible says, Zegt de Bible, Abraham sent his servant. Abraham you don't have knecht. that one. Gershon, you don't have that one. This, this, uh, I got it, that's okay. You could just stay on me with the camera for the time. Being. Abraham now needed a wife for his son. Abraham had a vrouw nodig voor zijn zoon. He sent the servant Hij stuurde zijn dienstknecht op een tocht. I want to extract something, so I got to give you the context for the text. Ga je dan de context geven? When his servant got to, he sent him to look for a wife for his son. Hij stuurde zijn dienstknecht om naar een vrouw te zoeken voor zijn zoon. And the Bible says when he came to the well, because he's going to look for a wife, he knew the woman came for water. Hij zou naar een vrouw zoeken en hij moest dan gaan naar een waterbron. Want daar komen die vrouwen. We pick up from verse 11. He said, Vanaf vers 11. Uh, uh, he, he, had, he had the camels kneel down near the well outside the town. De kamelen kamele gingen rusten bij die bron. It was towards the evening. Tegen de avond. The time when women go out to draw water. De tijd dat de vrouwen gingen om water I te putten. give you the context. Ik moet de context text. geven. Verse 13. Vers 13. Then he prayed. Dan bad hij. What is prayer? What is bidden? Communication, what you say. Gebed is wat u zegt. Communication. Then he prayed. Not pray, he prayed. He said. He said. And here's what his prayer was. And that was saying gebed. Lord. Heere. Who is he praying to? Dat wie bed hij? Who are we going to pray to? Dat wie zullen we bidden? Everybody said the Lord. Iemand, iedereen zegt de Heere. He said, Lord, Heere, God of my master Abraham, God van mijn meester Abraham, make me successful today. Laat mij succesvol zijn vandaag. And show kindness to my master Abraham. En toon barmhartigheid aan mijn meester Abraham. See, I am standing beside this spring. See, ik sta naast deze bron. And the daughters of the townspeople are coming out to draw water. En de dochters van de mensen komen om water te putten. Text, context of the text. Here's the text we're extracting. Before he had finished praying, before that he klaar was met bidden, Rebecca came out with her jar on his shoulder. Kwam Rebecca met haar jar op haar schouder. I decree and declare by tomorrow night before we finish praying, for God's gonna answer your prayer. Zal de Heer u gebeden beantwoorden? You are great. You do miracles so great. There's no one else. Oh my God! Smile a little bit. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. Give me a smile. Say, tell your neighbor, Doctor Wayne Hayward will activate the power and the effectiveness inside of you. Doctor Wayne Hayward, your prayer, prayer life, life is about to change. I said your prayer life is about to change. Tell him your prayer life is about to change. Your gebed life is about to change. I'm sorry for your enemies, you know. It's paid me for your friends, you know. The righteous, the rechtvaardige, and the wicked, and the boze. Keep that in mind. Hold that in gedachten. The effectual fervent prayer, het, the het prayer gebed. of a man in right standing with God is powerful. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige man is krachtig. Before he finished praying, before that he ended the met bidden. For the wife, for the vrouw, for your husband, for your man. I was thinking about you today. Exactly. All you want for Christmas is your her husband. You go pray that prayer tonight. You saw that gebed you go walk through that door tomorrow night, Morgen and he'll propose to you. And we'll get this thing ready before Christmas. Er gaat je ten huwelijk vragen. 
Then he gonna know how powerful you are. Je gaat nou weten hoe krachtig jij bent. Now you put everything in Santa Claus bag that you want him to come with. Money, house, land, Geld, huizen. Blah, 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 whatever you want. I don't know what you want. Put in the bag. So when he walks there, he got all the goodies for you. Dan komt hij met al het goede. Good? Is it good? Is it good? Look at your neighbor. Is it, ask you, is it good? This is good. Vraag van Habib, is good? Asan Bung, Abu. The eyes of your understanding is being enlightened. Dat u verlichte ogen des harten krijgt. I want you, not your wife. Tell somebody, don't tell your wife this. Because you might get in trouble. Zeg dit when she starts praying some dangerous prayer, and you start danger, it's going to be a holy war like jihad, like Israel and Gaza. Want als jullie beter dangerous beginnen te bidden, dan wordt een heel probleem. Look at somebody and say, you're going to find out how powerful you are. Kijk naar iemand en zeg, je gaat ontdekken hoe krachtig je bent. After tonight. Na vanavond. Ooh, after tonight. Ooh, na vanavond. I said after tonight. Ik zeg na vanavond. Before you finish praying, Before the answer will come. Met bidden, komt het antwoord. You are great. You do miracles so great. <laughs> then all is are you. Hey, hey. There is nobody like you, Jesus. You are great. Hey, you do miracles so great. Somebody gonna get a miracle tonight. Iman on fun to wonder for now. Somebody's gonna get a miracle tonight. Iman on fun to wonder for now. Somebody's gonna get a miracle tonight. Iman on fun to wonder for now. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. You brought a rapper for me. I need the rapper tonight. Somebody gonna get a rapper. A miracle. Somebody's. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Hey, hey. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Hey, 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 hey. You are. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Hey. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. A miracle is on its own. Hey, hey, hey. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Hey, somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody gonna get a miracle tonight. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. There. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. 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 Somebody. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Get a miracle. Get a miracle. Get a miracle. Jazz, jazz, jazz. You jazz it up, jazz it up. Get a miracle. Get a miracle. I did the miracle. Get a miracle. Jazz it up. Do 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 There's a powerful anointing here, I tell you. There's a salving here for now. Somebody's gonna get him. I need a rapper. Who can rap? I got a rapper need. Give me a rapper tomorrow night. One of them use. Who gonna get him? I can't say too fast like that. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. You can't rap. Somebody's gonna get him. Somebody's gonna get a miracle. So we gotta break it down. Before, before, wow. Nog al te voor. I feel the water trouble. I feel you're ready to step in. I feel it. You've been ready on in to step in. I feel before. Nog voor dat. This is. I'm not even halfway yet, but I feel the water trouble. An angel just told him before he finished praying. Nog voordat hij klaar was met bidden. How would you like before you finish praying, you get your miracle? Who saw we not finish? Somebody's gonna get a miracle. I said, somebody's gonna get a miracle. I said, somebody's gonna get a somebody tonight. Hey, somebody, somebody, somebody. Who is that person? 
somebody's gonna get a miracle. Hey, somebody's gonna get a miracle. How many have been praying for something and it's been delayed for a while? Can I see here? Who feel a bitter for each other? You've been praying for something really earnestly, sincerely. You've been heel ernstig for each other, but it's blijft uit. I don't know if I should call you forward or what. But listen. Listen. If you are in right standing with Adonai, as you rest start for the Heer, He sent this word to heal you or deliver you. I came to root out everything that's been blocking your prayers tonight. Ik ben gekomen om te antwoorden alles wat u gebeden tegenhoudt vanavond. Before Genesis 24:13, before he had finished praying, voordat hij klaar was met bidden, Rebecca came out with the jar on her shoulder. Kwam Rebecca te voorschijn. Watch the bio. She was the daughter of Bethuel, the son of Milcan, who was the wife of Abraham's brother. Oh my God. Look at your neighbor and say, this is no ad hoc prayer. So this is not a whole plotseling gebed. Take your seat for five minutes. Take him on. Say, neighbor, this is no ad hoc prayer. What you say, prayer. What you say. What you say. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Omdat er kracht eraan verbonden wordt. This is no ad hoc prayer. Que sera, sera. Before. He said, Lord God of my master Abraham. Hij zei, Heere God van mijn meester Abraham. He put the point of reference on Abraham, not on himself. De referentie was Abraham. Abraham was a friend of God. Abraham blocked God or tried to save Sodom and Gomorrah, a nation. Abraham was a friend of God. He and spoke to Adonai Adonai face to face. You can't do that. And he said, God, Heere, you can't do that. But you know, he couldn't get even ten. But he couldn't even ten rechtvaardig vinden. Just Lot and his family. Alleen Lot and his family. And the rest is history. And we we'll know what there is going But we're going to change the destiny of Suriname. We're going to change the destiny of Suriname. We're going to change the destiny of Suriname. An intelligent response. He put the point of reference on Abraham. He said, Abraham, my master Abraham, give me good success today. Give me success today. Lift up both your hands and say, Lord, give me good success tonight. From tonight, from tonight. Come on, pray, pray. What, pray. pray. what you say, what you say. Prayer, prayer is what you say. Say Adonai, say Lord, 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 God of my father, God, Lord, God of... Give me good success from tonight. Pray. I promise you it's going to happen. It's going to happen. Before you leave here, by the time you go home, by the time you leave here, you might get a text. What you've been praying for, what you've been, what you've been waiting for will come to pass. Thank you, Lord. See what the Lord Oh, my God. Oh, 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 oh. Yes, you and I. See what. Thank you, Holy Ghost. I tell you, the water's trouble. Oh, you see what the Lord has done. Thank you. What you've been praying for will come to pass. I just got that download from heaven. Stand. If that's for you, stand up and lift your hands and receive it tonight. See what the Lord has done. Oh, see what the Lord You're going to see what the Lord will do. Is that see what the Lord will do? Find out. What you've been praying for will come to pass. See what the Lord has done. My eyes will see. Your eyes will see, your ears will hear. Oh, you'll see what the Lord. Come on, keep your hands up, lift your hands and receive it. What you've been praying for, hey, will come to pass. See what the Lord. 
told you I came to activate, not dissertate. Ik ben gekomen om te activeren. What I teach, then you give the practical. Wanneer ik onderwijs, dan komt het in This praktijk. This is not about theory. It's activation, the practical. Het gaat om het activeren in de praktijk. Daniel chapter 9. Daniel hoofdstuk 9. Verse 20. Vers 20. While I was speaking and praying. Terwijl ik sprak in gebed. Remember where we're going? Weet u waar we gaan? The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige voor een Jesus veel. said you must always pray. Jezus zegt u moet Don't altijd you dare give up. Geef niet op. While Daniel was speaking and praying. Terwijl Daniel sprak en bad. And he was confessing his sins. He was the son aan het beleden. The prayer of a righteous man. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige. He was speaking and he was praying. Hij sprak en hij bad. And he was confessing his sins. En hij was de zonde aan het beleden. And the sins of the people of Israel. En ook de zonde van de mensen van Israel. We are going to confess the sins of the people of Suriname. I said we will pray. We will, pray. We will, will confess the Suriname. sins of Suriname. Oh, I'm not getting an intelligent response. I'm not getting an intelligent response. Ik krijg geen intelligente reactie. I told you last night. I call them prayer blockers. Ik heb u gisteravond geleerd. Sin, zonde, and family issues. En problemen in familie of huwelijk. He said I was speaking. Hij zei ik sprak. I was praying. Ik bad. And I was confessing my sins. En ik was mijn zonde aan het beleden. And the sins of my nation. En de zonde van mijn natie. And making my request to the Lord, my God, for His holy hill. En ik diende mijn verzoek in naar de Heer. While I was still praying. Terwijl ik nog in gebed was. Gabriel, the man I had seen in an early vision. Gabriel, de man die ik had gezien in een eerder visioen. When you start praying tonight, Wanneer the Lord will activate and release angels to your aid. Wanneer u begint te bidden zal de Heer engelen releasen om u ter hulp te komen. Did you get it? Begrijpt u dat? Did you get it? Begrijpt u dat? The prayer of a righteous man. Het gebed van een rechtvaardige. Powerful. Is krachtig. Effectief. While he was praying, terwijl hij bad, talking to God, praten met God, and confessing his sins, en zijn zonde beleden, and the sins of his nation, en de zonde van zijn natie, the Lord dispatched an angel to him. De Heer stuurde een engel voor hem. Gabriel, the man I had seen in an earlier vision, Gabriel, the man die ik eerder zag in een visioen, came to me in swift flight. kwam snel tot mij. About the time of the evening sacrifice. tegen de avondoffer. And he instructed me and said to me, Daniel. En hij zei tegen mij, Daniel. I have now come to you. Ik ben nu gekomen. To give you insight and understanding. Om u onder inzicht te geven. As soon as you began to pray. Toen u begon te bidden. As soon as you began to pray. Toen u begon te bidden. Not last year. Niet vorig jaar. Not last week. Niet vorige week. As soon as you begin to pray tonight. Zo gooi je begint te bidden vandaag. Say melody line. As soon as you begin to pray tonight. Zo draaien vanavond begint te bidden. When? Wanneer? Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Tell somebody. Kijk, kijk naar iemand. Come kijk on, shake somebody. Tell them. Say as soon as you begin ja, to pray tonight. Zo draaien begint te bidden. When? Wanneer? When? Wanneer? When? When? Wanneer? When? Wanneer? When? When? Wanneer? Say tonight. Tonight. Vanavond. You've been away. Tonight. Your voice is saying, come on. Tonight, tonight. everybody. Tonight. Tonight. Every... tonight. 
As you began to pray, vanaf het moment je begon te bidden, a word was sent out. Was er een woord gestuurd? Which I have come from Trinidad, the Trinity. Ik ben gekomen vanuit Trinidad. To tell you, drie eenheid om u te zeggen. For you are highly esteemed. Want je bent geliefd. Therefore, Bemind. consider the word and understand the vision I bring to you. Daarom zie het woord dat ik geef. Tonight, what you say when? When you want your prayers answered? When you want your prayers answered? Will do the beat When you want the prayers answered? Tonight, tonight, church, tonight. Hey, we'll come to pass. Oh, Lord. Prayer. Everybody standing. He didn't stop. Everybody stand. Prayer. How do you stand? Chabad. Is spiritual communication. Is geestelijke communicatie between man, dus een mens and God. en God. The very moment you began to do it, vanaf het moment dat je het begint te doen, what you said, what you said, I was dispatched. Ik ben gezonden with a word, met een woord. Answer your prayer. Om uw gebed te beantwoorden of te verhoren. Prayer is two a two-way relationship. Gebed is een twee-richting relatie. In which man should not only talk to God but listen to him. Waar de mens niet alleen praat tot God, maar ook luistert naar God. I Gabriel, as soon as you began to pray, ik Gabriel vanaf het moment dat u begon te bidden, I was sent with a word to tell you. Ben ik gestuurd met een woord. Your answer is here. Uw antwoord is hier. That was not an intelligent response. That was not so an intelligent reaction. Prayer gives us untapped power. What does prayer give you? Gebed geeft ons kracht. What does prayer give you? What geeft gebed u? What does prayer give you? What geeft gebed u? Untapped power. Tell somebody. Say prayer gives you untapped power. Zeg aan iemand. Gebed geeft u kracht. Prayer unlocks. Prayer what? Het ontlokt. It ignites. What it was? It aan. It heals. It what? It genies. It transforms. It what? Transformer. It empowers. It what? It versterkt. And it also calms you. And it gives you calmness. Paul told Timothy, First Timothy two eight. Paul said to Timothy. Therefore, I want the men everywhere to pray. Daarom wil ik dat de mensen, All de mannen, the men altijd bidden. Lift your hand. Alle mannen in het huis, heb uw handen op. All the men lift your hand. Al de mannen, heb uw handen op. Apostel, apostel, apostel. Can I call the men down here? Kan ik de mannen roepen? Okay, come up here, John. All the men, come down here. Alle mannen, kom, kom to here. All the men. Alle mannen. I brought to you men tonight. Ik breng u mannen vanavond. Men. Mannen. 
men. Manen. Why did he admonish the men? Waarom heeft hij de mannen opgeroepen? You know why? Weet u waarom? These women always pray. Die vrouwen bidden altijd. If you sneeze at your wife, she start to put some prayer on your head. As you get headache, you come home and say, darling, I'm sorry. You don't know what happened. The effectual, fervent prayer of a woman is powerful. Het gebed Let van me hear all the women shout, Amen, Dr. Wayne. So we need to activate the men. Dus we de come close, activeren. guys. Come on up. Move Komt up. Come on. Come, Komt move up. Come, come close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Come on. Come on. Come on, here. Come around here. Come on. Nobody beyond that box. Come in front of me, man. Come down. Come. Nobody beyond come that box. Yeah, come. come on, man. Come down here. Nobody beyond that box. Yeah. I want to activate you tonight. Ik wil u activeren vanavond. Men ought always to pray. Mannen moeten altijd bidden. Men ought always to pray. Moeten altijd bidden. And not to give up men. En niet verslappen. Weet u waarom? The men don't pray, we walk. We go to work. We gonna make money. Die man bidt niet, hij wil naar het werk om geld te maken. My wife will pray for me. I'm gonna work and make the money. Oh, really now? Mijn vrouw zal bidden voor me, mij om ook te maken money. Oh, echt? Men ought always to pray and not to give up. Mannen moeten altijd bidden en niet verslappen. He said, Timothy. Zegt Timotheus. I'm going to take a bold step here. Apostle, I didn't get permission from you, but I get permission from the word. I'm calling all you men tomorrow evening for a prayer meeting right here. I think it's six o'clock. They start to pray. I want all you men to be here for half past five. Ik wil dat u alle hier bent half zes. Do I have an amen on that, man? Heb ik een amen voor een Do I have a commitment on that? Now, now listen. Luister u. If you are getting understanding from what I just told you, Als u kreeg, your life is about to change. Zal uw leven your environment is about to change. Zal your family is about to change. Gaat your veranderen. business is about to change. Gaat your veranderen. finance is about to change. Gaan and veranderen. everything about you is about to change. En alles van u zal I need an intelligent response from the man. I need an intelligent response from the man. Therefore, Daarom. I got two minutes to give a pastor. Therefore, Daarom. I want men everywhere to pray. Ik wil dat mannen overal bidden. I give you four references tonight. Ik heb u vier aanknopingspunten gegeven. Beginning with Enoch, geven. Enos, Abraham, Abraham, Abraham's servant, Abraham's dienst, Daniel. Daniel. Go read the life of Daniel. Ga lees over het leven van Daniel. When the king passed a decree that nobody will pray, he said, I'll show you what power is all about, king. Toen de koning een bevel uitvaarde dat niemand mocht bidden, zei Daniel, ik zal je wezen. I am, king. I'm not afraid of your lions. Ik ben niet bang voor je leeuwen. I got the lion of the tribe of Judah. Ik heb de leeuw van Juda. He opened his window and he prayed and said, take that, Mr. King. Hij opende zijn raam en hij begon te bidden. Hoe durf je koning? Insult me and tell me I can't pray. Meen te zeggen dat ik niet mag bidden? I can't talk to my God. Ik kan niet praten you met mijn God. You must be kidding. Je maakt grappen. Okay, get the lions. Don't feed them for a month and throw Daniel in there. No problem. Geen probleem als je me voor de leeuwen wil gooien. And Daniel was sleeping on the lions. And Daniel sleep op die leeuwen. Why? Waarom? The prayer of a righteous man. Gebed van een rechtvaardige. God shut the mouth of the lion. God sloot de muil van de leeuw. Your life is about to change. Uw leven zal veranderen. I came to activate. Ik ben gekomen om te activeren. I didn't come to bring a dissertation on prayer. Ik ben niet gekomen om iets uit te I leggen. I came to activate you like Daniel. Ik ben gekomen om iets te activeren als Daniel. I came to activate you like Abraham's servant. Ik ben gekomen om te activeren als Abraham's dienst. I came to activate you. Ik ben gekomen om iets te activeren. From tonight, vanaf vanavond, and if we gather tomorrow, en als we morgen bij elkaar komen, just half an hour before the service, a half hour before the dinner, let the woman take the first half an hour. Laat die vrouw de eerste half uur nemen. Six to six thirty. Zes tot half zeven. And then we take over. Dan nemen we over. What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? What did I say? I promise you. Ik beloof u. 
the atmosphere in this nation, and I don't want to focus and say the political atmosphere, but I will say generally, a generic term. The atmosphere, the atmosphere in Suriname will change. In Suriname, South Verandera. The economic, the social, economy, social, the political, politics, the financial. financial. Oh, I dear the men of this house to so give me a, a spirit. And here it is. I got three minutes. Therefore, Daarom. I want men everywhere to pray. Laat men overal bidden. And here's how you're going to pray: lifting up holy hands. En op deze manier moet je het doen: heilige handen opheffen. Without anger. Zonder boosheid. And without disputing what I just told you. En zonder onderling. If you have any dispute about what I told you, this is for you. Als u in twijfel trekt wat ik u hier zeg. If you got angry by what I told you, als u you got cleaned up tonight. Dan moet u gereinigd worden vanavond. You must pray with your hands lifted high. U moet bidden met uw handen opgeheven. There must be no anger in you. Er moet geen boosheid zijn in u. And you must not dispute what I told you tonight. En u moet niet in twijfel trekken wat ik u gezegd heb vanavond. Pray. Heb uw handen op. Bid. Pray. Bid. Pray is what you do. Pray is what you say. Talk to Adonai. If you have to get cleaned up tonight, ask him to forgive you. Come on. If you have anything in your life, any somebody hurt you, some offense you've been carrying for years, you have any anger and you get rid of it now. Get rid of it. Get rid of it. See what the Lord has done. Come on. Pray. Ask him to forgive you. Bid. Vraag om om te vergeven. I got one minute to hand the mic over. Pray. Bid. Pray. 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 Come on. Bid. 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 The psalmist says, Psalm 141, to may my prayers be set before you like incense. May the lifting up of my hands be like the evening sacrifice. Father, all the men lift your hand high. Both Father, hands. man, have your hand up. So shall your word be, Lord. So shall your word say, Heere. That God fought out of my mouth. That it may want forth God. It will not return void. It will not lead to me to return. You send this word tonight to heal your men. Hey, send some word for now for Tommy to release. And deliver them from prayerlessness. And you befriend them from gebedsloosheid. And whatever the enemy has been using to hold them back. And what the fiend has brought. Religion and tradition. Religie, traditie. I set them free in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth tonight. Free in the name of Jesus Christ. To be men. Of prayer, a man at the same for Habet. I declare that they are righteous men. They are in right standing with you. Open your mouth and pray. Say, Lord, thank you. Forgive me, Lord. Cleanse me from all unrighteousness. Forgive me. I want to leave here standing and right with you. Right standing with you. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Now make a declaration. Say, Father God. Say, Father God. From this moment forward. From now this moment. I will set aside time. Zal ik tijd vrijmaken. To pray. Om te bidden. And I will be here tomorrow evening. And I will be here tomorrow. I will make everything possible to be here tomorrow evening. I will make everything possible to be here tomorrow evening. At six thirty, half seven, with my brothers. With my brothers. We are going to join together in prayer. We are going to join together in prayer. To change the destiny of Sudanama. To change the destiny of Sudanama. This we ask in Jesus' name. This we ask in Jesus' name. Everybody, clap your hands for the men. All the women, clap your hands for the men. The men. See what the Lord has done. Before you finish praying, for that, nog voor dat u eindigt met bidden, the answer will show up. Zal het antwoord te voorschijn komen. If that don't make you happy, you need to be saved. Als dat u niet blij maakt, dan moet u nog gered worden. You're translating good. Yes, sir. Before you finish praying, nog voor dat je klaar bent met bidden, the answer will show up. Zal het antwoord verschijnen.